Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am back to do the first couple of weeks in 2024 in the Dollar Tree Planner. If you've been watching and following along, you know that I have not been able to find a 2024 B6-ish size uh, weekly planner from Dollar Tree. Uh, there are some that are kind of like a student-like planner um, that have simi the similar layout to this and a similar size, but I really don't like them. The paper is different, the layout is slightly different, and I just prefer this B6 look, this look. So I have quite a few older weekly planners. So what I'm going to be doing is using this 2022 for 2024. <laughs> And it's, it really doesn't matter because it's going to be undated. The dates don't come into play anyway. It's just, I don't know. I want, I like to be able to share things that you can actually go to the Dollar Tree and buy yourself. So I did go to another Dollar Tree, one of the bigger ones in the area and look for the 2024. They had the planners, but they were like 2020, I even saw 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023, but no 2024. I was like, why do they even have these old planners out? And they were kind of just like strewn all over in the stationary areas. With that out of the way, let's go to the first week and we can use the week numbers as a guide. I think there's 52 weeks in a year. So that should be easy to follow along with. Yes, yes. Okay, and I already shared this previously in an, I think one of my setup videos. This is the digital that I did for the first prompt of the 2024 Scrap Craftastic Weekly Planner and Journal Challenge. The first prompt was 2024 and this is what I designed. Now a lot of you are already have already used this. I've seen posts. Thank you for posting and tagging me so that I can see what you're doing. I really appreciate that. It also inspires me and gives me other ideas on how I can use these. So I designed these to use in the Dollar Tree Planner. However, you can use them in any planner. And there are some posts on Instagram where I've seen these used other ways. So you might want to check that out. So this will be for the first week. I didn't do anything elaborate. This is available to Scrap Craftastic patron elites and unlimited. Remember, um, if you are a plus or elite on the 10th, everything will expire. So <laughs> you need to, I've, I've given ample notice that you need to download what you want to download because the only tier that will have access to those older files and the files will never expire as long as we're on Patreon. Um, that will only be available to the unlimited tier. So anywho, this is what we're going to be using for the first week. Then for the second week, the prompt was creative. Now this one stumped me because I didn't know what to design for. And then I just said, okay, I'm just going to design what I feel. So that's what I did. I did two dashboards. This is really just a graphic that you can use any way you want. It does have the cut lines on it. I printed it on the vellum, but you can use it however you choose for personal use. Of course, this is what it looks like printed on just regular 32 pound paper. I use the other matte photo paper setting and best quality for vellum. I always just use the normal quality because you don't want too much ink. It takes time for the ink to dry. It doesn't necessarily absorb instantly into vellum. It sits on the paper. It absorbs a little, but it needs time to dry. So you don't want too much ink. I actually like the way the vellum came out better the, as far as the color. Then this is the other dashboard that I did just playing around. And I've, I've noticed that I've been into a lot of blues and purples lately. I'm going to switch it up real soon though. And this is what it looks like printed on paper. Again, this was for the prompt creative. And then I did something different. As you, you may have noticed, I do have the one doll. I went ahead and did her and created her because I did not have any dolls in the kit. So 
in case somebody wanted to have a doll. I know not everyone likes to have the dolls anyway. So this kit has no dolls and I printed two because I'm gonna use one somewhere else. So I printed and cut two of them so that I would have some extras to use. So this has date covers, it has the florals and I'm just gonna keep this layout very simple. So let's go ahead and get started with 2024 first. I'm not sure how I'm going to divide the different elements up between the different tiers and levels, but we'll see. Um, if you are a patron, you'll know when everything gets posted. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the header piece. Oh, no, let's not start with the header piece. Let's, I'm going to do the journaling style weekend, so I need some paper here, some sticker paper. Okay, so I've done this many, many times. Let's see if we can do it again here. Let's trim that down. So what I did is mark the width and the height that I need. I need three times this height, so I marked it three times. Let's trim this off. So I'm going to fold it in the thirds using my tick marks where I marked it with the pencil. All right, that's a little short, but I don't think it's gonna matter. So let's go ahead and put the top piece on. All right, so that's gonna go there. Should I take this out? I wasn't taking it in and out previously, but I think since it's so thin at the moment, it's going to be better and easier for me to work with if I take it out. All right. So let's erase those marks. I didn't line that up very well. Okay. Let's go ahead and put down the washi. So I pulled all of these washies to consider with this but I think I'm going to actually start with this black buffalo plaid with the gold bows from Simply Gilded. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the header piece on. Got a little white on here, it didn't cut quite right, so I'm gonna trim that off. I'm going to use Mojo Jojo plans to put down days of the week. Let's see, how do I want them to fall? For one, let's put her in place. And then let's use this one. Okay, so there is that deco. Let's use the mask. All right, let's put down the days of the week. I think I'm gonna do it a little different, put them at the bottom. I want to get the balloons in here. Let's see if I can get this little trader. I guess we'll go with the smaller balloons. All 
Maybe I want to put the mask over here. I'm going to do it. I was kind of trying to save it so that I could use it on another spread, maybe in my PR and social media planner or in the composition notebook. But I think I want to use it here. And I don't like the way everything is lined up down the side, but let's see. Can I switch those balloons over a little bit? Now, is there anything here that I can use to help give this a little more life? Seems a little blah. Let's see what the pink scallops look like. Let's try it. You can't really see that very well, but I'll just put a little bit here and there. And I don't think I'm going to use any boxes. Okay. Um, I feel like it needs something more. I probably should have used the gold. That would have really set it off. Why didn't I use the go? Um, oh, well. <laughs> Maybe next time. I think I'm going to print and cut this again and use it in my PR and social media planner. And then I'll use the goal and we'll see the difference. I think the goal would really set it off. But I went with the pink here. I used the um, Mojo Jojo plans days of the week and then the simply gilded washi tape with the digital so that is the first prompt which was 2024 let's go on and do the next one which is the create prompt which is this so i guess it's create because i created <laughs> this digital all right so i made two sets of florals because I wasn't sure if this one would be entirely too big but we are going to go with it see what happens guess I still need my contrast paper and I've heard a few people were able to find this planner at their Dollar Tree for 2024 let me know in the comments if you've found it, if you had any luck locating it. I think that's good. All right. This might turn into a sticker journal too. Kind of like my Altered Composition Notebook. I guess it would help if I would get in frame. I got washi tape. Little tower here. Oh, I should have put down the washi first. I just dove in. Well, I didn't even pull any washi. Let me find some washi. Let's use this one. I think this one is good. Let's see, can I pull this up a little bit to get under here? And I know this one didn't cut quite right because I accidentally bumped the mat when it was going in and out of the machine. Now let's put the florals on. I'm going to really have to buckle down and start printing these on the clear paper. I think that would be better for like the little white spaces in there. It's just that the clear sticker paper is so much more expensive. I mean, it has its pluses and its minuses. So if I was using clear, then all of this behind the stickers would show through. So there is that. All right, 
Then I made these swatches to use for the days of the week. I should have did these reverse, but I'm just gonna flip them the other way like this. There we go, let's do opposites. All right, and I think that's all I'm gonna do on that. Keep it simple and moving right along. I have to decide what dashboard I'm gonna use. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this vellum here. I think that's gonna be great since it is simple. She is going to be nice. Okay. So even though I have trim marks on here, this is a little bit different. So I'm going to make my own marks for this. I'm going to cut there, 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 there. Before I cut, let's go ahead and put down the days of the week. This one, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use, let's see what other style we have. Um, I guess I'll use these again, but I'm going to use the ones on the clear paper. Okay, so that's it for the Mojo Jojo plans bit. Let's go ahead and trim this down. I do need my dots. <laughs> so since I already cut it off and it cut off most of the dot where I can't see it, let me mark it again. And I need to do the same thing here because I'm about to cut this part off. erase those pencil marks and then we're going to taper up all right so that's double-sided tape and I didn't put that on very well but that's double-sided tape it's one eighth inch tape and I didn't get it quite on the edge but it's too late now Let's see if I can fold it back on itself a little bit. I think that'll work. But yeah, you want to get it as close to the edge as possible. Then I'm going to line it up where I want it to be. Since I've already taken the backing off. And I hope that this is the right positioning. Check top and bottom. Then I'm just gonna close that over it. I hope that worked. It did, all right. Press that down. And there we go, all right. Okay, I really like that. So this is creative. The digitals for this will be available in my Patreon. It's linked in the description box below. If you're not a patron, check it out. And I'm quite active. I've been adding quite a few digitals. Um, so yeah, now's the time. Join us. So we finished two weeks. Very simple. No boxes. We'll get back to boxes, I think, in the next couple of layouts. So that is it for the first two prompts of 2024. If you want to play along with the challenge, all of the prompts are available as a printable in the Scrap Craftastic Facebook group. The group is linked in the description box below. So you can just click the link and it'll take you to the group. There will be two questions that you need to answer 
You need to answer both questions to be accepted in the group. Also, you need to have a profile picture. I am, I've been kind of lenient, even though I'm hesitant to do it. I've been lenient about letting people in without profile pictures, but that's gonna stop this year. <laughs> if you don't have a profile picture of some sort, then I am not letting you in. If it's just a gray circle, no. Also, if you don't answer both questions, I am gonna decline, so you'll have to try again. So if you wanna get in the group, just answer the questions. It's really simple stuff, um, and make sure you have a profile picture. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like how these came out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up, and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.